Okay, well, let's see here. <clears throat> this actually mean anything to you? Hmm. No, but I like the skeletons. He loves the skeletons, of course he does. We Look got a button, this. a strange button. Push the button. Aha! There you go. And here is where Hala failed. No eternity forge, no prize. Here goes nothing. Oh. What does it say? Hang on. Let's see if Nebula's cipher was worth all the trouble. It says enter twenty dollars to continue. <laughs> the Eternity Forge resides here. The rest of this temple is DLC content. Time, Send money. As it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Hmm. Huh. So, this is not the correct temple. We came here for nothing. Hang on a second, there's more. It says... Emnios? The temple we're looking for is on a place called... Emnios. The symbols are a star <laughs> I know how to get there! Ah! Laura, Peter! <clears throat> Whoever we're looking for isn't here. But we figured out where to find them. Get those engines fired up. We're going for a ride. Um, We're going to take you for a ride. Uh-oh. Rocket's down in the engine room. He's uh, yelling some new and creative curse words. Yeah, you might want to talk to him. Uh-oh, what now? What now? Silver trophy, fly by night. Look, hmm. I know you miss Lila. That's okay. <laughs> Aw, man, it's so depressing. I don't... I don't... <laughs> hey, 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 what's, what's going on? Talk to me. I didn't uh, didn't want you to uh, to see. <clears throat> She's gone. She was the only thing keeping me alive. The computer. And I couldn't save her. She protected me. And I couldn't I couldn't help her. I know, Rocket. I saw what happened. She didn't deserve to die like that. I thought if I could just get her out of there, if she could just see it. This is all I have left of her. This stupid computer. I can't do this without her, Pete. I thought I could, but I can't. No. I can't. She's always gonna be with you, Rocket. You haven't lost her. But it's gone. I can't fix it this time. There's nothing left. I, I still can't. I don't want to give her up. That's all I got. You should hold on to it, Rocket. It means a lot to you. <laughs> Super depressing What's episode, going on? man. Get the Eternity Forge, keep it safe. Go help Rocket. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna listen to some fucking music. Copywritten content ID claimed music. <laughs> That's right. You won't hear it. So we turned it off in this playthrough. Yeah, see, I was right. I don't remember. 
remember inviting you to. My friend, another quick time event. That's right. There's no air in space. Oops. Wait! Let me fight. You trapped me on this piece of junk, and now we're surrounded by pissed off Kree. I don't want to die here, and neither do you. If you keep me here, they'll kill you, your friends, and then they'll come for me, too. Let me out. Without me, you're just gonna get us all killed. We're gonna free her. It's and then your she's gonna, only option. She's gonna fucking get away. Watch. Okay. I know she's gonna get but away. One move against my crew. Any of them gets hurt, and this little trust exercise is over. Do you understand? I understand. Nebula wouldn't pass up the chance to fight. Well, someone on this ship has to keep you all alive. Here! This one's yours. Oh, for God. Oh, no. Of course. Oh, shit. That's Whoa. my seat. Times, isn't it? <sighs> Never gets any easier. Is this a shit? Uh, R2. Ah! We've got to move now. <sighs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Is the engine room. Rocket! Nebula and I will keep the bridge secure. Just get the power back on. Jesus. I am through. Oh, what happened? Right. Engine room. <clears throat> Rocket! <sighs> oh, that was pretty stupid. Think you could possibly win against the Kree? Now that I've obtained the Eternity Forge for Hala. Ah, oh, stop, dude. Just, just stop. I really don't care. How dare you speak to me like that? How dare I? <laughs> you come onto my ship, you bust up my team, and then you go <laughs> about spouting your evil plan like a bad <laughs> monster <laughs> movie? He just slowly walks talk. around pressing all the Hala buttons. Will. Hala can kiss my beautiful Earth <laughs> ass. Uh. Hey, guy, what's it like being on fire? Ah! That bad, huh? <laughs> Great balls of fire. <laughs> 
So he literally pressed every wrong button and then finally burned the guy alive. Damn. You must think you're clever, Peter Quill, but you can't run forever. The forge will be mine. Do not be foolish. Its purpose is much greater than this. Who says I'm running? Is there another word you would prefer? Hiding. Cowering. I'm not afraid of you. I do not need you to be afraid. <sighs> Peter, you better get the engines running. The Revenant's weapons are coming online. Rocket, I'm on it. Gamora, set a course for Emneos. Drop off our stowaways on the way there. All right, so we fended off the attack. <clears throat> Let's be the conclusion of this episode. I'm getting that feel. Almost anything to get that. I mean, if you could bring your mom back, what then? You still gonna be doing this? Hmm. Well, come on, I wouldn't do that to you guys. The Guardians stick together, no matter what. And what, Meredith Quill becomes our new pilot? <laughs> This is it. So, what now? I'm sure Peter has a plan. You dare have a plan, right? The Guardians Come don't on, need guys. plans. We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. That's we right. Don't need Plans. <laughs> Can't argue with that. That's a bunch of bullshit. That is a bunch of bullshit. A cliffhanger ending. Come on. They don't even give you a hint of what it was. Wow. Well. It looks like, let's see. Did you prioritize getting Nebula to translate the relic or did you go to half with Rocket first? So only 20% of players prioritize Rocket's personal journey. 21% prioritize getting Nebula to translate the relic, leaving Rocket to make his personal journey alone. 60% of players prioritize Rocket's personal journey over fetching Nebula from the Nova Corps. 
Oh, so what would have happened was if you if you hadn't done it first, later on Nebula would have had to go would have been caught by the Norvacore and you have to save her from the Novacore. So that would have actually changed the whole episode. The rocket carry Lila out of the lab. Most people had to carry Lila out of the lab. Did you leave Gamora or Drax? Most people left Gamora. Did you tell Rocket to keep the risk computer? I'll get rid of it. Most people said to get rid of it. Or no, sorry, I mean to keep it, excuse me. Did you free Nebula so she could help you fight? Yes, most people did. Look at this. 20% of players refused her request and kept her in prison. 0.3% of players ignored her offer to help the fight and kept her in prison. Uh I don't get the difference. I don't they seem the same. That's weird. Huh. Alright, let's let's see next time. How do I get how do I do this? Next time. Get our preview. It just never stopped. We were at each other's throats over it. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. Thanks a lot. I am Groot. You ever play that game, Monkey in the Middle? No? <laughs> well, here's the thing. There's a bunch of jerks. They stand in a circle. They toss a ball around. And some poor turd in the middle tries to catch the ball. You usually get pelted that a million turd, times. That's the monkey. And I, <laughs> man, I was that turd. <laughs> oh, Peter just, he's not the most mature. Sometimes he can be just a huge... Sorry, it drives me crazy. And that's why I, I love him. I was really prepared for what we found on Emios. Oh, Peter was definitely not prepared. At all. You don't look surprised. Nah, I got my ship back. And that was that. For a while. Huh? Worried? Hell, I've never been happier in my life. He got his ship back, so what happened? Quill, all of them, they fell into a dark hole. Real dark. What the heck? Uh... Real, real dark. All that ancient stuff we found, guess what? It wasn't meant to be found. Dun dun Honestly, dun. Honestly, why didn't they just bury it? You know, why'd they leave all these clues and crap? Just hide it better. It's so dumb. I mean, Hala, I mean, she might have. Who knows? Then again, maybe she would have stopped if it wasn't for us. I felt like Nebula was coming around. I don't know. Certainly, she was just as angry as she always was. For a little while, I thought it could be just like it was before. Before Tarball. Real, 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 dark. Real, 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 real. And when we finally found her, I... I couldn't make sense of it. None of us could. What she showed us. Oh, yeah, the second it was out of her mouth, I knew. I mean, you get a chance like that. So much power in your hands. What would you do if you had to make that same choice? No one should ever have that much power. Ever. Everybody looking at you? You know the thing about responsibility? It sucks. <laughs> like a lot. Real, real, real. Dark. Dark, man. You know? Still fun, though. <laughs> so, basically, it's incredibly vague, and we have no idea what's going to happen in Episode 3. We have no idea what they're going to find. All right, well, I see, here's the thing. I still like the episode, because I like the characters of Guardians of the Galaxy, so I actually think the episode was a good one. But I do have to say, that was one of the most disjointed episodes ever because of the choice of... All of a sudden, right, going to do what Rocket wanted seemed completely unrelated to everything else you were doing, so it just seemed really weird to me. I still like the episode, but I think that maybe if they, somehow the pacing could have been a little better. It was a little bit bizarre, but all right, so next episode, whenever it does release, I'll be checking it out.
going into this Enios or whatever it is, and uh, Emnios, seeing what's inside that temple. I hope you'll join me for episode 3 when it is released. Thank you everyone for watching my playthrough of Guardians of the Galaxy episode 2. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you later for the rest. Peace out.